Student loan interest is building up again for the first time in more than three years. The freeze on interest ended on Friday and come October, payments will restart too. Joining us now is Betsy Mayot, president of the Institute of Student Loan Advisors. Betsy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Well, what advice are you giving to people who are already on a tight budget and now have to start paying loans once again? Well, thankfully, federal student loans have a bunch of lower payment options, uh, many of them based on their income. In fact, the Biden administration has recently revealed a new plan called SAVE that can make people's payments even lower than they might have been on the existing income-driven plans. So I recommend that borrowers uh, check in to their servicer or studentaid.gov to explore those different plans. Betsy, what is the first thing that people should be thinking about as this process reboots? Well, the first thing is make sure you know where your loans are. Uh, the other thing that happened over the last three and a half years is somewhere, somewhere around 17 million accounts changed servicers. So uh, making sure you know where your loans are and they have your contact information uh, and that you are on the best plan for your budget. President Biden's student debt cancellation plan was struck down by the Supreme Court, but other reforms took effect this summer. What do borrowers need to know? So as I already mentioned, one of the biggest ones is this new save plan, which can, uh, for some borrowers, significantly cut their payment and may even lead to forgiveness. Uh, one of the biggest benefits of this plan is if your payment is lower than the interest you're accruing, the government's going to forgive that interest. So you don't have to worry about your payment, your, your balance going up while you're making payments. And what about for future borrowers? What is the best advice as students and parents begin this process? Well, first of all, educate yourself, understand how the different loan programs work, but almost more importantly, be very mindful of how much you're borrowing and how much that payment is going to be for 10 or maybe even 20 years. Um, and, and try to bake that into the future budget to make sure you're not taking on more debt than you can afford. College has certainly gotten very, very expensive. All right, Betsy Mayotte, president of the Institute of Student Loan Advisors, thank you so much for joining us this morning and for your insights. Thank you.